Need a second, need a second. Just about everything I've been through, it's a blessing. Each and every L I take in life to stand for lesson. And I ain't really interested in completing the second. Ooh. Yo, what's up, Ken? It's your boy DK. Nice to be back here again on another video. Now, today, what we're going to be going over is, yes, another crossfire setup. Um, but I've gotten a lot of questions because I've been streaming a lot. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't know, uh, I stream. Link in the description. Um, same, same as my YouTube name, DK Nice One. Um, but I've been asked, how do you set up crossfire? And like, I, I'll if it's a setup that I've done, like the temp, uh, like the cover two type setup, then I'd go ahead and direct them to the video. There's no reason for me to, you know, do another video on it, right? Um. But I've been messing around with another one, um, like another setup because, um, I've been, th this is my defense at the end of the day, right? So I've been trying to figure out ways how to stop the run out of it, um, how to stop certain particular plays out of it, depending on the setup. Um, so right here, this is going to be my run support slash cover three type setup. It's another way to throw them off. Again, it's going to help me with the run, um, to maybe... Um, make them pass a little bit more out of this um, at the same time still sending heat um, So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press we're not gonna baseline press um, We're gonna press bringing everybody in, uh, into the box Then what we want to do is we want to spread our d-line crash out which we've already done take our user out to play Right, it's always gonna be our left of screen guy um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna blitz our um, Left the screen uh, outside linebacker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit RB two times um rb to pull up the menu and then rb again to quick adjust x because that's the linebacker we want and down on the right stick to blitz him um and then we're going to qb contain and then you could adjust coverages right um you could play hard flats claw flats now what's cool about this is that depending on their uh formation um the guys will be tighter in um so again help and run support um i'll show you guys that out of run formation and then the other thing is that um normally it's the linebacker that's in the flat but right now as you guys see it's the safety that's in the flat um so from time to time depending on their formation um depending on you know what side up all all that stuff um will determine um who's going to be in what zone and sometimes it's nice that the linebacker is um in the three wreck because he's closer to the line closer uh to the post routes um if it's the safety he's more athletic he you know obviously probably end up catching more picks and whatnot but it's it's a very when when looking at it, it's a very good blitz, and then it kind of mimics the um the nickel three three five odd setup as well, um and uh in that um you're just worrying about the left side of the field and just baiting this side of the field, so that's not gonna come in, um so it's the same thing, and you just throw a lot of people. What in the heck? I ran commit? Did I? Huh? I, I had to rank commit. They were just as confused as I was. Um, uh oh, I baseline. I baseline. I baseline. I didn't want to do that. There we go. But yeah, so um, but it's just not as consistent. I'd say like the nickel three three five odd is consistent, like ten out of ten. Um, this is probably more uh more so um eight out of ten. I just see it didn't come in there. Um, but if you have great shedders, it's going to help. I have uh, Luke as a looper. Derek Brooks and McGinnis. I actually switched Derek Brooks to put him in the zone over there. Um, I guess I could just like sub him out, I guess. Um, and that and that's what we want. We want him to start throwing that because then what, I, what we'll end up doing is um, we'll take the guy that's in the yellow and say man him up on whoever the out route was. I think it was RB. Uh, man him up and then we're just gonna use her uh, we're, just, we're gonna use her that other out route boom 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 and then he all right if we'll, we'll take the running back then we'll take the running back if he's one of if he wants to throw there fine um but yeah so I'm gonna kick it to the clips uh, oh actually no no uh we gotta show you in run support too um I love it in run really um and then that that's the that's the main reason why um, I decided to do it. Um, I hope I'm not talking too much. Uh, but I just want to give you guys a reason why, um, like why to run it, uh, in what situations and whatnot. So this is how it looks out of a run, uh, formation. Go ahead, call the play. 
and again i have shedders i have mean joe green so like a lot of those guys really help um when trying to stop the run um allowing me to um use crossfire as a as a run um as a run stopping formation uh or play um but yeah so I, there's nothing to it really the same thing um and just watch your guys shed and just be ready for toss toss is the only thing that's going to kill you um so just be ready be be ready for the toss um and yeah ball so i'm gonna kick it to the clips um i hope this helps you guys hope i wasn't talking too much um yeah if you guys enjoyed if it helped you guys uh leave a like comment subscribe um and if you guys want to hit me up on twitter maybe we can get a game in or two i, I want to do some uh with subs um during the weekend uh sub weekend sub sunday some saturday so, something like that uh because i got something cooking up in the works so um I want you guys to be a part of it um but yeah is that it is that it yeah so you guys have a blessed day and until next time guys peace out